Hey YouTube, so I still have my extension tubes on my camera this week. As we were preparing for the holidays, we started taking out our Christmas ornaments and I saw all these glittery, small, decorative ornaments that I just really wanted to see up close since I was already on this macro kick from the last video. I got some really positive feedback on how interesting macro photography is. A lot of people just haven't explored this opportunity, like myself, and they kind of just go for the more traditional photography types. But this is a very artistic type of photography and it requires more attention to detail on things like the background, the lighting, and the position. I wasn't too happy with my creative last week, so this time I wanted to spend more time getting a creative results and worry about less of the technical stuff. And for this exercise, I used all autofocus. There was no manual, everything worked a lot easier. So I had to really look around the house and see where I could shoot these objects so that I could increase the creative output on the shots. If you just shoot it wherever it is, you might not get a great result. So you heard in the intro this Christmas jingle and that came from this musical wind-up toy. And I really wanted to shoot it close up to get the Santa and the reindeer in focus. And that left a lot of background space around it. So what I did is I propped up my RGB keyboard and had it kind of flash and twinkle on and off just out of focus behind it to create this really cool effect. So it's awesome how in macro you can exploit size and space and distance to create this beautiful abstract piece of artwork. For the two ornament shots with the, the nutcracker guy and the ornament bulb, what I did is I pulled up a YouTube channel with Christmas backgrounds with snow falling and I just had that playing in the background while I was shooting the macro shot in front. And you can't even tell it's a screen, it just looks like there's snow falling in the background. So I just want to share a couple tricks, how you can kind of cheat cool macro looks uh, with things that are already in your house. This one I was really happy with. I went outside and took a macro shot of our Christmas lighting. We bought this spinning projection light that shines red and green, and you can actually see it spinning inside. So when you get close up in macro, at like f1.8, it turned into this really beautiful gem. And it was so bright that the background ended up just becoming black. And that seemed to work out for this one because there turned out to be this shining halo around it, which I've never seen before and it just happened by accident, but I absolutely love the result and the video that came with it. So it's really fun to just walk around the house and find objects that can move or shine or have really interesting texture and then place them into spots where they can really pop and shine. The snow globe is a really cool one. I had to shake it up, put it down really quick, and then take the shot while there was still material floating in the glass. For this one, I just propped it up against something that was red to go with the Christmas theme. And I was happy with it because there's so much detail happening in front and there wasn't too much white space. So that's all I got for today. I just wanna encourage you to give macro a try, see what kind of decorations are up, and take a couple of macro shots if you have the tools or maybe pick up a Kenko extension tube and see the world a little bit differently. One thing I never really saw coming was how interesting macro video is. I thought it would be all about stills, but I ended up liking the video better. If you enjoyed this and learned something, please hit like and subscribe. Visit demonophotography.com or my Instagram for even more info. Bye for now.